Part of me wants to go it alone, and I want my people to go back. Hey, what's up, Chomers? This is Ross Vizsla, and here we are. We're gonna go ahead and play some of the skies. I've been actually eyeing this game for some time. And don't worry, we'll come back to Mass Effect. I just wanna go ahead and try out this game, so it might be another game that I will switch between Mass Effect and Sunless Skies. So, it'll be fitting through all the stuff that I do. Anyways, let's go, go ahead and figure out how, what this game has in store for us. If you die, you can only continue with new captain. If you die, you can reload or continue with a new captain. What? If you die, you can reload or continue with a new captain. What's the difference? Wait. I kinda wanna go with the legacy and campaign, just to show how- Just like, just cause I wanna be brutal with about it if you die. Wait, what's the difference? Oh, I can reload this last save. So if I die- Okay, 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 I get it, I get it now. So do I want to do hardcore or, you know, no, no saves coming? I think no saves coming would be preferred, even though I probably don't know what the hell I'm doing and this would be my first game playthrough, but I'd rather go with it. Let's go with you guys. Aim assistance, only a few player. Many player one. Just, you know, only a few player. We'll do that. Enemy projectiles move at default speed. Measured enemy are somewhat slower, making it easy to avoid them. Stately. Those are simply slower, making it easy for them to avoid. We'll do standard. Supplies are consumed at default rate. Song are making easy, making it a little easier to survive. You know this game kind of reminds me of, kind of reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. And I love that game, but let's just say when fate hands hands it to you, like you'll be doing good in one run, but then the next, all of a sudden. A collective just comes in your way and you have you don't have the necessary you don't have the the right players on hand it's kind of reminds you so I'll just keep it as is for now no aim assistance we can do this you guys I'm probably gonna fail very horribly on my first playthrough but that's all right who are you in the dark so that's what it says on the achievement progress Log of Her Majesty's Locomo Locomotive, the Orphan. March 14th, 1905, our expedition of the domains of the dead have been eventful. The Orphan is damaged and in grievous need of repairs and supplies. We are returning in haste in a reach where I hope to make port of New Winchester. May God be with us for a thousand deaths wake in the sky. Final entry of the Captain Amelia Charity Wentlock, DCM, written shortly before her death. Return to the Reach, an untamed sunless span of the heavens. London's new frontier, a celestial garden of the cloud. Your journey back from the Blue Kingdom was tumultuous. The locomotive is damaged, and Captain Withlock badly wounded. Officer, the nearest station is, Win is New Winchester. Can you get to the Orpheum?
the Rex hangs in the, in the sky, hopped with recent gunfire. You and the courting, courting party don your sky suits, garments of wax canvas lined with felt to protect against the cold of the sky. Two of the crew are whispering as they dress. What business did Captain Whitlock have in the Blue Kingdom anyway? Why the devil did we trespass some districts of the dead? You silence him. Now is not the time. Deep across the wreck. Gap yeah, between two and two islands. Leading the way. You jump. Your stomach lurches with the vertigo as the stars blaze above, you and below. The air of the heavens is thin and torn by unpredictable winds. Then your boot hits the run the running board of the Oxymanius, and your leather gloved hands fumble for a hold. One of your companions throws you a line, and you lash the two engines together. Only then do the rest of the boarding party follow you. One of them forces it open an exterior hatch, and you clamber inside. Your exterior is cold, unlit, and whistles with the wind. Your party's lamps spread watery light over the narrow panel passages. You make your way toward the little hold, stepping over the bodies crumpled in the corridor. Unfortunately, your way is blocked. A bulkhead has been mangled inward and by a well-aimed barrage. Ooh, this looks interesting. Clear the obstruction away. You locate a length of pipe. You use a pry bar to set the work. This will test your iron skill. It's the skill of confronting and overcoming. Lead your party on a more precarious path. Go back to the Oxymedia's hold. Climb past the blockage and enter the window on the far side and do so carefully. Reveal reveals is the skill of deceiving and evading. Mm. I kind of like this one. So it's iron skill. I guess this is a way to create your character or whoever your captain is at the moment. Man, that's really interesting. Veal is the- Let's do this one, you guys! Oh, success! So this is like a random num- Random- Random numbers generator as well. RNG. Okay. A memory. The rest of the boarding party follow you without enthusiasm. Recall the first time you climbed outside an engine, helping the captain fix a leak on the exterior pipe. The wind had shrieked, buffeting at you. You asked the captain what would happen if you slipped. You fall. She answered, tersely. But where to, you asked. She looked down, then up, then back. The sky steps spiraled all about you. Away, she said. And you heard her fear. Back in the present, you tumble back into Ozymedius. Through a shattered window, your party spill in after you. Glad to be back inside. You have reached Ox Ozymandias. Mandias Hold. A ruined smashed cargo and spilled supplies. Hopefully somewhere I'd missed the de detritiate there. Can't say certain words. Sorry, you guys. Detritus. Can't even say it. You can find parts to repair the Orphean and restock your stores. Conduct a thorough search. Your companions work quickly. Oximandius hull has begun to creak. Your actions on board may have compromised its integrity. Renewed. You find enough food, gear to restock your supplies, and enough spare parts to make the necessary repairs to the Orphean. The food will need to be thoroughly, thoroughly thawed, of course, but you have eaten the worst in disguise. Oh! cries one of your party, prying the lid off the long crate. It holds a cannon, still nestled in straw. Another crewman pulls a battered birdcage from a pile of ruined cargo. Within the cage, something winged and furred opens a sullen eye. You examine your finds. You have now four times the supplies and you've gained fifteen times the whole. New total thirty. Noxomandius emits a long juddering creak. Your boarding party exchanged nervous glances. From the chaos of its hold, you have retrieved repairs and supplies and discovered some useful equipment, a gun that could be mounted on your locomotive. And an educated bat. So I guess it's this too dangerous to say. So we have some options again: Mount Jerusalem can can <laughs> cannon on the Orphean. Her own weapons were damaged during the fight from the Blue Kingdom that leaves you vulnerable. You can claim both this and the bat. 
liberate a diffident bat and employ it as a scout, your heavens are wide, so locomotives use scouts like bats to locate the things of interest, ports, resources, wrecks like this one to scavenge. You can claim blow both at this and the cannon. Or we can return to the Orpheum. It is too dangerous to stay. Let's see. What would be prefer, you guys? We want... Let's see. Scouts of bats to locate the different things of ports. Would it be useful to have a gun sense? Or should we have... I'm thinking, what would be the most important thing? And we're in... Seems like we're all in disguise, apparently. So which one is more... F seems more... I was gonna say practical, but I feel like that's not the right word to say it. Because with the way I'm thinking... What would, what would be the most beneficial at this moment? The scouts like bats to locate ports, resources, and wrecks like this one to scavenge. I feel like it would be better to get more stuff. But then we also need to... We need a gun. We need some... But resources are definitely important, so I'm going with this one. Eyes in disguise. The bat treats its rescue as an inconvenience and immediately begins hag haggling over pay. You offer to put it back in this damn cage and leave it on the Oxymedius. At which it becomes more polite. You doubt it will last. Okay, fine. Donxomadius emits a long, juddering creak. Your boarding card will be exchanged for nervous glances. In the chaos of its hold, you have retrieved the repairs and supplies. Uh, the cage is back. We can still get it, you guys. Let's get. Let's go ahead and claim the cannon. The quartile and the uh, Hatter Sage of Jerusalem. Fires a single shells to a good range, more or less accurately. You order two of your party to get it back to your vessel and fit it immediately. Oximedius groans again. The structure shudders spar spasmatically. You now have one time to cultural and Hedder's age, Jerusalem. Awesome. I would say. A part of me wants to get to begin to tear apart. Let's see, what would be, a part of me still wants to press through because I'm like, I want to get the fuel. You better hurry, Doc. We'll do it. We'll go for it. So, the wreck of the Ozymedia screeches as it metals, buckles, and tears. You press on through the shuddering corridors, searching frantically for the engine room. Send a smaller party ahead to retrieve the fuel. The fuel. It is foolish for all of you to go. Send your quickest and lightest to retrieve the fuel while the rest of you return to the Orpheum. So a heart. Heart is the skill of convincing and enduring. Go yourself and conduct a hasty search. Send the rest of the boarding party back to the Orpheum. Go on alone. Mirror is the skill of investigating and deducing. Part of me wants to go it alone, and I want my people to go back. Success! Oh dang! What happens if I didn't didn't get it? In the nick of time, the Rex engine are choked with old ashes. You search swiftly, aware of the every creak in the bulkhead, every tremble, and that runs through the dead locomotive. Finding several sacks of coal, you drag them to an exterior hatch and fling them across Orpheon, before leaping after them. Unshackling your motive, locomotive from the Oxomadius, you stroke your engine and steam away, restocked, refueled, repaired, and rearmed. You gain two times the fuel and new total power. Hey, we did pretty good. A wreck drifts here, less fortunate even then. We should scavenge her for repair. Send. Press F to send out your scouts. Not supplies. Okay. Oh, your scout discovered something. To see what it is, open your chart. How do you open the chart? How do you open the damn chart? Where do you open for a chart? Okay. Okay, so it's right here. 
So we have to go somewhere around here. Okay. Summon Captain Whitlock. The walls of the captain's cabin are lined with the hodgepodge of curios from the sky. Captain Whitlock lies in bed. Black marks over her skin like a monstrous brand when she coughs coils of acid smoke pour from her lungs. Inquire about the captain's injuries. No commode the doctor attends to her. His lips are tight. Approach the bedside. The captain opens her eyes as you draw near. She attempts to smile. I'll do that. Her mouth is blistered from the blue fires that dance on her tongue. Her hand grips your arm. Her skin is hot as a kettle. You made arrangements. The orphan will be yours. Her voice is just a rasp. Burned meat breath. But promise, she breaks off the screen. A word in a language that was not made for human mouths. And she resumes speaking English. She is weaker. Her request a little more than a gasp. Promise me one last service. Promise. Promise the words rest. Demanded to know why she took the... So there's a couple of options we can choose. Promise her you will be obey her last command. Whatever it is, you'll see it done. Make no promise. Tell her to rest. She will need her strength. There is a hospital at New Manchester. They can help her. Pull away. What if her con condition is contagious? Demand to know why she took the orphan to the Blue Kingdom. It was a folly to visit one of the lands of the dead. Now you're all paying the price. What would be preferred? I am trying to figure out the final command. I feel like it would... get done. Demand to know why she took... Would it be proper to even ask her? Okay, I'm not even sure how to create my purse on um, like how my play. Demand why she took the She laughs. A sound like wood snapping on the fire. Ash sprays from her mouth. It was worth it, she swears. Her voice is suddenly firm, her eyes hard and bright. Then she sinks back into the scorched pillow and twisting frantic fever. The walls of the captain's cabin are lined with a hot oh, I already read that. Take your leave. You have an engine to command. Other businesses. You leave the cabin and the scorched stink of the air behind and return to the bridge. New Winchester is further than you'd like. And the captain hasn't left. <laughs> Each marauder is defeated. You're prepared to board, buckle the wreckage, poised to plunder. It's plunderers. Behind you, someone is humming a song of victory. Strip is repaired, raid the remains. Marauders pillage homesteads and hunt travelers all over. Reach, reach. They often carry stolen valuables. Strip it for repairs. Scavenge plating and components to repair the damaged orphan. So, which one? We'll get this one. Putting it to use. Your engineers scoured the remains of the Marauder for intact parts, even before its defeat. It was rusting and rickety. Its plating and patchwork was reclaimed steel and repurposed bronze wood, but not but enough candy salvage to repair some of the damage to your own locomotive. Onwards! Okay, okay where's the chart at? Wait, wait. Somewhere 
different here. But I wanna... I mean, I wanna check all the other stuff out, but I wanna... Pretty cool game. Arrival at the New England Chester. The coast in bustled the din. The suit of the steam of the Wolvesy station is the, it is clogged with other engines, scrappy mining locomotives from Lustrum Way, weathered explorers gleaming with frost and sleek company vessels with bright brass fittings. No sooner have you pulled into the sidings than a brusque station master bustles over. Request to come aboard. I must speak with your captain, he insists, brandishing a letter. Usual formalities. Look to the orphan's doctor. He just appeared at your shoulder. His face is swollen. His hat is in his hands. He lowers his eyes. The passing. The crew exchange bleak, wordless looks. The orphan itself feels suddenly more empty. The station master looks confused. You inform him, and unfortunately, Captain Whitlock has just passed. Ah, he says neutrally. Sorry to hear that. Very sad. Very sad. He waits for what considers an appropriate minute and a half before continuing. Alas, even amidst tragedy, the cogs of the bureaucracy must turn. Captain Whitlock is deceased. The station authority required their answers from the first office officer. He dons a set of spectacles and locates his pen. It will be relatively painless. Name, background, purpose of visit, etc. Shall we begin? Sure, why the hell not? Let's see what. Let's see, creating my captain. Who is this captain of mine? Maybe he's a sailor? Revolutionary. The world is broken. One way for another, rich. Before, decide to do something about it. We'll begin the high veils of steel beating. Let me see what else I do. Parents, no laws, no masters, but no roof over your head, no money, and often no dinner. Freedom comes at a price. Yours was not a re it's a reason why yours was. Ah, poet. <laughs> I guess he's a rev he's a revolutionary or she. I don't even know. He or she. is broken. One way for rich, another for the poor. You decide to do something about it. It's a revolutionary. Oh, the law offered you no protection. The engine of the states were set against, but which you knew to be just. So how did you resist? Your, your mind. It's the tools of the tyrant. You published research to expose those lies. It's the best thing to do. Sort of different in regimen. My skills and affiliate too. With That's very interesting. Oh wow. They all have their own sort of thing. That's so. That's actually pretty cool. Smuggled. Oh wait.
That's pretty cool, though. By comfortable, you mean extravagant. Many have their fortunes down among the stars, many have failed and broken loss. To exploits in the Song of the Skies. For centuries, people have launched themselves into the unknown in the hope of making a name for themselves. Sweet, after all, you never heard of anyone who didn't. Will you be the. Three exploits and write about them in New Winchester. The truth. Even the stars have secrets, but they won't keep them from you. A message from an old friend begins, an unwise quest to learn what the stars hide. What drives you? Curiosity, injustice, insolence, whatever it is, it will be truly tested. So I guess fame would make sense for this character. Okay, yeah, I'm not very... See, I'm not very... What's it called? Let's see, what is that? It looks like sunglasses. I want to see what else it is. Comrade. Each you smuggled. Sees and distant lights calling you home. Salty prayers offered, even less nods. Life and often a short one, but you made your mark before you know it. Yeah, you smuggled a lot, my friend. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead huh. and start the game. Three weeks have passed. This morning, Captain Whitlock received a simple memorial service. Her body has co signed to a necropolis train bound for the serene mausoleum. Now you sit with a handful of her relatives in the threadbare office of her solicitors, a methodical notary is reading the will. The captain was a wealthy 
once, but squandered her capital on the mysterious expense before her expedition to the Blue Kingdom. Listen to the end. The captain's relatives from who she must most hear is strange. They're clearly wondering why you are here. True to her word, in the final codice, the notary no announces, Captain Whitlock confirmed the possession of the Orphean was to be passed to the first officer. He peers at you with dry gray eyes. This includes a certain black box contained in the Orphean's hold. Captain Whitlock's final request was that, at the time of your choosing, you transfer the said box to an address in London. He hands you an address card and deposit it there. You are not to look inside, she gave no explanation. And that's it. You're captain now. The Orpheon is yours. So, okay, we got our captain's legacy stuff. I mean, it kind of sounds like she's a crappy person in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know. We don't really know much, but that's just from my uh, assumption. You investigate the black box at the new Winchester. You could take the box to London as requested, or you could sell it and be done. You have bequeathed a large flat, yeah. Okay, I now have a hundred times sovereign. Even okay. So the clamoring station of the new Winchester, a play of steam and smut, thundering iron. Here you can find people willing to pay for skilled captain service. So what should we do? Follow your ambition, the song of the sky looms in your mind, an unfinished monument. Repair your locomotive, hire your crew. Your voyage has grown perilous late. So, before you leave New Winchester, it may be prudent to buy some more of our supplies. You can buy them at the Victoria Market to visit the market select for the menu that appears to be the left on the main panel here. You can swap between shops and stories. Scouts. Your scout has discovered something. See what? Oh wait, I already read that part already. Okay. Hi, device. I'm looking for something quieter. An opportunity. Fastidious, so... Which one should we do? I want to investigate the black box. Like, I really want to investigate it just to see what's in it. Let's investigate it. Captain Whitlock left it to you, and the hold of the Orpheon. Her will described it only as a black box, a description you consider to be an unhelpful understatement. It is a casket of black basalt longer than you are tall, unadorned with a single recess that contained a keyhole. The thing must weigh most of a ton. It's upright in the corner of the hold, where the captain had pushed it out of the way, where the crew had pushed it out of the way. Consider what to do with it, try to remember what part it wants. There's a subject of speculation among the crew. Examine the box, and as I mentioned, a sarcophagus plundered from the tomb of some forgotten prince of Egypt. Sell the box as a curiosity without saying what's inside. Don't get much for the box, but at least you'll get it off your hands. The higher your, the higher your affiliations, the better your, the price will receive. Wait, we can't. You need uncanny specimen. As one who can open it from your villainous associate. You have not opened the box yet. Of one. You need 200 sovereigns. Click to lock yourself, which I don't have. Click to make the lock with a modest. Well, I don't have that yet. And that's pretty cool, though. Let's go ahead and. Let's see. Consider what to do with it first. This is a decision. So the last request of the Captain Amelia Whitlock was for the box to be transferred to a specific address in London. You can find someone willing to purchase it as a curiosity. If you knew what was inside, you might have a hunch. Hmm. Try to remember when Captain. Okay, let's do this one. Preparations. Captain Whitlock had brought it on board just for your ill fated expedition to the Blue Kingdom. It was empty then. You know because you saw the lid of the box carried on board separately and assembled in the hold. It's not empty now, it is sealed and now heavier than before. But you left for the Blue Kingdom shortly after the box was delivered, and made no stops on the way. So whatever is inside now, Captain Whitlock found it in the Blue Kingdom. So, let's go and examine the box. 
closed fast. There are no carvings and inscriptions on it. The join where the lead met, met the body's too thin to admit even the knife blade. There are no holes through which light or air might find their way in. It's impossible to see inside without opening it. Even the keyhole has been engineered in a way to prevent peeking. The recess with the keyhole, though, as far as you can determine, that is more recent addition to the box. The stone has been drilled and chiseled away to create space for a modern metal lock. Hmm. You need a savage secret. Okay, we're gonna need to figure out a way to open it, though. Okay. Perhaps not. We'll, invest we'll go ahead and investigate a little bit more. Can I, like, save this at least? Oh, wait. Are you sure you want to save and... No. I wanna go ahead and... I kinda wanna explore a little bit more. See what's around, what's in here. It's a very interesting story. Is it right now? 36 minutes. Let's save it right here for now. I'll, well, I'll come back to this game. I think it'll just be a game that I'm gonna probably chill with during the weekends, and I think. I don't know. It's pretty interesting. So go ahead and leave it at that, you guys.